All right, I want to talk to you a second about working in teams because I go to high schools and all the times the question comes up, you know, what do you think about that? Working in teams as a professional, whatever. And well, let's think about it this way. If you're an artist working on a masterpiece, some fancy painting, you have a picture in your mind of what the end product is going to be. And the last thing you're going to do is hand the paintbrush to somebody else and have them work on it. Or let's say you're a runner and you're the fastest runner that you know. By definition, if you have anybody else run with you, they're going to slow you down. Or let's say you're an engineer, an experienced engineer like me, and you know everything you need to know to get something to work, but your boss says you're going to work in a team with somebody else and you're thinking ah, that they're just going to slow me down. Well, all of those things are true. But I want to show you something. I've been doing this rain gutter project for, for months now, and I've been working really hard at it. And when I decided that I wanted to come up with a way to turn this rain gutter into a reservoir that fills up and then can let all the rain out really quickly and, and charge something with it, I thought of what I knew. I thought of a toilet valve. And I worked with them before. <laughs> I've done a lot of those kinds of repairs. There's millions of them out there. They're cheap. It's a good solution. And, and it is. And, and it works. It's sitting here working right now. We're making power. Fan fantastic. I post the video, though, and lots of comments on there. I start reading the comments, and somebody says, why don't you use a bell siphon? And I'm like, what's a bell siphon? I go look it up. Oh, a bell siphon is better than this solution in every single way. It's more reliable, there's no moving parts, it would even be easier for me to make, but I didn't know what it was. Now, does that mean I'm dumb or I'm stupid or I'm a moron? No, it just means I didn't know about a bell siphon. I was probably sleeping the day that the teacher or professor was telling us about them in class. And yeah, I go look through the, the comments, and if I had used those people that knew about a bell siphon on my team, if they had been helping me with this, they would have suggested that, and I would have a better solution today, right now. There are a lot of suggestions that would not work. For instance, one of the really common ones is, why don't you use a larger diameter vertical pipe, because that'll increase the pressure and get you more power. And that just isn't true. You ask any engineer and the, the diameter of the pipe does not mean more power and it doesn't mean more pressure. So yeah, you might say, well, I don't need to look in the comments because the, the people don't know what they're talking about. But guess what? That's in the same place that these real gems of wisdom are. And it's the same thing working on a team. There will be suggestions that come up that aren't going to help. And yeah, it will slow things down and you have to take long to go through those things. But it's like mining for gold. You gotta dig through a lot of dirt to get to those gems, to that, that ore that you're looking for so that you can get ultimately a better solution. Now, you might say, you know what? No, nope. I am so good, I can do as good or better than the team. In fact, here are all these places where I did. Okay, let's say you're right. You're going to end up standing there all by yourself with that first place trophy and nobody to celebrate it with. And that sucks. It is way more fun to be on a team and leads to a more fulfilling life. I'm Quint. Thanks for watching.